Good morning. Hey, we talked a little bit yesterday about um, God's hands and him and us being engraved on the palms of his hands and him reaching down, um, us reaching up out of dark waters, out of stormy waters. We're drowning and um, there's hope. There's a life preserver for us. And um, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is in Psalm 18. I'm, I got my Bible right here. I'm going to read you from Psalm 18. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy. And sometimes isn't our powerful enemy ourself. Sometimes. From my foes who were too strong for me. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. You know, um, back to the, we are on the palms of his hand. He delights in us. What do you, you know, why do you get a tattoo? Why do you get inked? Why do you do that? Dude, because you dig what you're getting tattooed. You know, you dig what you decide to, to get made into ink on you. Like, it's your thing. It's your thing. It's important to you. You know, um, I, I think about people who take pictures of their of their ink and they're like, dude, can you even believe how awesome this thing is that's on me? Can you even believe how awesome it is? And and you know, I think that's what um I think that's what God says to us. Look, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Yo, hey angels. Can you even believe what I have engraved on my hand? Look how awesome. Look how awesome. So, um, you know, today, a couple things. If you're in those deep waters, I'm saying it again, reach up. There's a hand reaching down to you. There's a hand reaching out to you. There's a way out. There's a way out. And honestly, you guys, Hey, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to watching these short Instagram clips, if you need help, message me. For Pete's crying out loud, message me. And you know what? I would love to talk with you about how you can reach up and grab God's hand. Um, repeat, repeat, repeat your tattooed on the palms of his hands. And in the book of Psalms, um, you can find it in any Gideon's Bible. Even in the little New Testament, it has Psalms and Proverbs in the back. The book of Psalms chapter 18 is all about God coming after you and reaching down and snatching you up out of deep waters. For way too long, we have all had this picture of a God who is angry with us and who is resentful of us and who is out to get us. That's not true. That's a lie. Our God loves us. He's compassionate. He's merciful. His mercy is new every single morning. You think you exhausted him yesterday? Guess what? It's a new day. Number one, you didn't exhaust him yesterday. And number two, even if you had, which you didn't, it doesn't matter. It's a new day. It's a new day. He's reaching out to you. Just reach up. Just reach back. Just reach back. Then he'll tell you what to do next. Then he'll tell you what to do next. And then he'll tell you what to do next. First, you don't have to clean yourself up. You don't have to dust yourself off. Just reach up your hand. He'll pull you out. It's going to be a great day. You know how I know that? Because years and years ago, I was sinking in deep, deep waters. And I reached my hand up. And he took it and he pulled me out. And I have never been the same. And I know that he wants to do the same thing for you today. He really loves you. He really does. And you have not used up your last chance. You have not used up your get out of jail free card. Because his mercies are new every single day. It's going to be a great day. Reach up your hand.